Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to find the derivative of a function. It looks kind of complicated, and there's going to be significant algebra involved when simplifying at the end. In this case, we have a radical. And the first thing I always do before I even consider which rules for the derivative would be to rewrite the radical as a power, because we don't have any rules for taking the derivatives of radicals, but we do have rules for taking the derivatives of powers. So I'm going to rewrite this as a one-half power, and now I'm going to look at the operations occurring here, which are that there's a product and that we have an exponent. Whenever we have an exponent, that means in some way we're going to use a power rule. We have several exponents, but in this case, we're going to have to use the general power rule, or in other words, a special case of the chain rule, because it's not just an x being raised to a power. It's an entire quantity, 49 minus x squared. But I also see that I have the product of something with an x times something with an x. So this is an indication that we're going to have to use a product rule. So here we have this first quantity being multiplied. I'm going to call that capital F. And we have this second quantity being multiplied. And it's in the process of dealing with this second quantity that we end up having to use the general power rule. So I'm going to go ahead and write down my product rule, which says that the derivative of y is going to be the first function times the derivative of the second, plus the second function times the derivative of the first. Let's start with the derivative of the first function. The derivative with respect to x of 1 half x squared. Well, the 1 half remains the same. The derivative of x squared is 2x to the first. 1 half times 2 is going to give us 1x to the first, or just x. The derivative of the second function, the derivative of 49 minus x squared to the 1 half power. When we have a quantity raised to a power, we still treat it as we usually do, bringing the 1 half out front and subtracting 1 from it. But because this wasn't just an x being raised to that power, we have to compensate by multiplying by the derivative of whatever it is. So I'm going to write down 1 half. I'm going to leave the 49 minus x squared the same inside the parentheses. Subtract 1 from 1 half, so negative 1 half. And we need to multiply times the derivative of the 49 minus x squared. What is the derivative of 49 minus x squared? Well, the derivative of 49 is just 0. The derivative of negative x squared is negative 2x to the first. S prime is going to be 1 half times 49 minus x squared to the negative 1 half times negative 2x. But 1 half times negative 2 gives us negative 1. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative x times 49 minus x squared to the negative 1 half. So y prime is equal to the first function, which was 1 half x squared, times the derivative of the second, which we found to be negative x times 49 minus x squared to the negative 1 half. Now we need the plus the second function, which was 49 minus x squared to the 1 half times the derivative of the first, which was x. All right, so in a sense we're done. We found our derivative, but this isn't really a nice format to write your final derivative. So you can follow the link to my next video where we show how to simplify this expression algebraically by factoring out common factors and moving negative exponents into the denominator. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. Also, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below.